interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special tornado bulletin from the Weather Bureau. Severe thunderstorms and possibly tornadoes may be expected in the city and all of Carson County this afternoon between the hours of 2 and 6. A tornado watch is now in effect. We repeat. A tornado watch, a tornado watch is no cause for immediate alarm. Overhead, the sky may still be blue. The watch is issued to alert you to the possibility of tornadoes and let you begin taking precautions to protect yourself and your property if and when a tornado is actually spotted moving toward you. Only if a tornado is sighted will a tornado warning be sounded. This will be the signal to take cover. These familiar things can become deadly missiles in tornado wind. Small portable items should be moved indoors. Flying debris is a major cause of injuries and deaths in tornadoes. One twenty-seven. In the surrounding countryside, volunteer observers are standing by, filling station operators, farmers, policemen, people who normally work out of doors. Their job, scan the horizon, look for a funnel cloud, Reported immediately to the Weather Bureau or police. At the Bureau office, radar probes the distant skies, giving a picture of the approaching storm. 1.45 p.m. The tornado watch goes on. In the community, people are alert, but normal activity continues. 1.45. Now the squall line is visible on the horizon. The volunteer observers watch it move in. They are the eyes for the whole community. 306, the storm is closing fast. Hailstones, an ominous sign of extreme cloud turbulence. Then the radar picks up a suspicious echo. It could mean tornado. The funnel cloud is spotted. Tornado confirmed. The Weather Bureau is notified. The warning goes out. We interrupt this program to bring you an official Weather Bureau tornado warning issued for this area. Leave your radio or television turned off. We repeat, this is an official tornado warning. All persons are urged to take shelter immediately and observe safety precautions. And you should open windows or doors to equalize air pressure inside and outside the house. But take cover away from windows. A major hazard. If you are living in homes with basements, go below and stay below ground level. in office buildings, apartments, and schools. Go to the basement or low-level inside corridors. Keep out of auditoriums or gymnasiums with lightly supported roofs. In homes without basements, get under a piece of heavy furniture or take shelter in a closet near the center of the house. Those of you living in trailers should take cover in a nearby reinforced building or below ground level. A storm cellar, if available, is the best possible shelter. Anyone in an automobile in the path of the funnel should leave the car and get into a ditch or ravine. If you are caught in the open, lie flat and cover exposed portions of the head and body. Make as small a target as possible. We repeat, take shelter immediately. The funnel is now reported to
window, I had seen the funnel where everything was just green, and it was just an awful rumble and rumble. It just seemed to go. The whole house just collapsed down around us. After that, I just dove under the desk up there, and uh, it hit. The ceiling went off. And a minute, two minutes later, everything was over. I ran out. The and then when I got up, I was ringing wet. And my hair was so full, and my mouth was so full, and my eyes were so full of insulation. And I looked at my husband, and I said, we're alive. The tornado has passed. Capricious, swift, savage. For the indifferent or the skeptical, the penalties can well be tragic. Survival depends on heeding the warnings knowing what to do and having the time to do it. The tornado watch gives time to plan. The warning, time to act. And planned action can keep the toll in dead and injured to a minimum. At NOAA, the vigil goes on. Skilled men use every means at their command to give you the precious gift of time searching for danger signs beyond the horizon in a constant effort to guard you against the gathering storm.